rabbis under arrest in a divorce case that was anything but kosher. The rabbis are accused of pressuring Orthodox husbands to give their wives a divorce, and police say the religious men used torture to get their way. Eyewitness News reporter Marcus Solis with more tonight from Suffren. Marcus? And Diana, uh, in all, 10 people arrested after an FBI sting. The feds looking into a practice that some in the Orthodox community say has been going on for decades. The FBI raided four students out of the yeshiva in Rockland County, while in Brooklyn, agents searched the home of a rabbi. A multi-state investigation into a shakedown involving Jewish law, kidnapping, torture, and big money. Rabbis Mendel Epstein and Martin Walmark are accused of plotting to kidnap Orthodox men. The victims would be tortured with electric cattle prods to force them to hand over what's called a get, a religious document needed to grant a divorce. Some in the Orthodox community say such extreme behavior is common. This man claims he was the victim of a forced get. Busted my finger, busted my ribs. They kept me handcuffed. According to court papers, an undercover FBI agent posed as a woman seeking a divorce. Rabbi Epstein is allegedly heard on wiretap boasting he arranged one kidnapping every year to year and a half for a cost of $10,000 for the rabbis and 50 to 60000 for the hired hands who would carry out the plot. High stakes and alleged dirty deeds just for a piece of paper, one that women say husbands purposely withhold to prevent them from escaping failed marriages. It's just to make a woman suffer, usually. Sometimes when there's children involved, it's to, you know, it's to deal with the custody issues. When there's money involved, it's usually involved, it's usually do with money. Very often guys will do it just to make the women suffer. And the rabbis and their associates uh, arraigned this afternoon, 10 people in all, all remanded until bail hearings could be held next week. Coming up, we'll have reaction from Trenton, but for now we're live in Suffern. Marcus Solis, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.